And here we go, guys. Popo Panda, Trokamu in a best of five with three bands coming up here. Trokamu does have the first pick. Violent proc tower as Obey Trace says, so we'll see if Popo Panda has it on his side. I do think this is gonna come down to the battle of speeds and then balancing with the battle of Molly and Vigor here. Uh, but of course, Chakamu does have Giannis that Popo Panda needs to play around. So Chakamu taking out that Okeanos so that Popo Panda has one less option from the speed standpoint to fight him with. Yep. Very predictable pre ban. We knew that Gianna was going to get pre ban first. Okiana's getting pre ban. Trockman with the first pick because he chooses to take something away from Pope Panda, possibly gaining Hathor. And there is the Hathor being drafted. Yeah, Hathor being drafted and taking away the Okeanos means that the Chibu Gany combo is nowhere near as strong. So you see that Popo Panda doesn't reach for that Chibu, obviously also because Chibu tunnels you into a turn one comp. Uh, you see a very standard Sierra Gany opening. Yep, that's right. And these standard picks, I mean, it's a very, very predictable draft. They stay standard. We'll see where one of them varies. The Chibu and Savannah coming out for Trakamu. And I love the picks of the Chibu Savannah. This is something Popo Panda uses a lot, but we haven't seen it from Trakamu much, but this is a very fast Chibu and a very very hard hitting Savannah here. Uh, so Chakamu going with the aggression route. Popo Panda's, we're gonna see if Popo Panda decides to go turn two. And, and as you see with the Vertihile is likely going turn two here. Yep, more than likely a triple revenge Verd. When we see these Chiwus out there, it's very, very common to draft your uh, triple revenge Verd. Mul multiple people have uh, multiple Verdi heals. So this is where pre-banning and Okeanos actually works against you a little bit because Chakamu needs to play around the last pick Leo here because he can't go full on aggressive because there could be a last pick Leo. This Verd needs to be the ban here, but Chakamu needs to balance with that potential last pick that Popo Panda has left. Yeah, Vigor, Daphnis coming out of Chakamu. Very aggressive to be drafting like that. Yeah, interesting pick here. It me means it leaves it wide open that Verd could be the ban or could not be the ban here. It doesn't, it's very hard to tell. And also, uh, likely the ban, but at the same time, he's okay letting it through because he has aggression from the Daphnis uh, and aggression from that Hassel there. Yep, very dangerous with this Chiu in the field and a Verd heal, because that could just turn the tides immediately. We're seeing a Leibly being drafted by Popo Panda. Uh, we see the Blushin being drafted, uh, and at the same time, I think Trokamu needs to address this because he does not have immunity on his team, and uh, Sion does come back once it's revived. So at this point, um, Chakamu does need to be aware of that and probably needs to just take that out because he's not going to be able to avoid an immunity. Sion actually chooses not to ban it. A very surprising move here. Uh, so Chakamu needs to take something out, needs to survive this Blushin. Yep, thank you. Sion, that is correct. And you see the bands coming out there. Chibu getting banned out here. Fran getting banned here. We can see speed leads just for Popo Panda, though. Yeah, so in this situation here, I think Chakamu is going to take out a unit with the Daphnis and likely take out or lock down others with the Savannah Hathor. It's going to depend on how much damage he takes from that Blushin. Nope, speed lead for Popo Panda, resistance lead for Trakamu going into round one with Trakamu and Popo Panda. We already know who's going to be taking first turn here. Popo Panda with that speed oh. lead. Here we go. Ganymede, very fast, but everybody's going to be willed up. Yeah, and a very fast Ganymede is actually very bad in this situation because it basically does nothing. And the proc's also not great because now it allows Chakamu an extra chance to proc here. So once this goes off on that Sierra, Popo Panda is going to be exposed. Yeah, Daphnis does get that defense break. It's going to be enough f damage to finish off the Sierra, and it is. That's an immediate uh, one unit down for, for Popo Panda. Not looking good. And the additional turn coming out of the Savannah as well. That's huge. I did not like the risk of taking skill three in case of the Verd Revenge, but Chakamu does have a skill three from the Hathor coming up. So at this point here, uh, Popo Panda's basically just staring at a field here, watching Chakamu have his way. That's right. I mean, we're going to see this skill one probably go out onto the Sion, looking to finish off this Water Joker. Yeah, I'm not sure he wants to have that Water Joker revive here, but decides to go for it. That is immunity, invincibility, and immunity up, but that proc is huge. Yeah, big proc. I think that was supposed to strip. Did not strip there. Vigor just looking to just poke damage here onto the Sion. We got the Hathor fast enough to get in front of it. Looking for the strip. Does not put it to sleep, though. Bombs are going to be coming out. There is no immunity. There is no resistance, even though he did go with that resistance lead. Yeah, so Sion's going to be going down here, so it depends on how much damage those bombs are doing, but that Sion resisted a ton there. Might be 100 res, uh, but quite lucky for Popo Panda. Yep, Trakamu trying to take advantage of that defense break sitting on top of Ganymede. There's the additional turn. Does get stunned up, though. 
Yeah, and you saw that Hathor took about half health damage, so that's actually not quite enough here. I think Chakamu is actually going to be just fine. Yep, we'll find out. Oh, there you have it, an immediate forfeit. And Trokabu taking round one away from Popo Panda. Yeah, Popo Panda shaking his head there. He knew he got thoroughly outdrafted there. Sion was a great last pick, but at the same time, given the speeds of the units, the full will on Chakamu's side, yeah, well, we'll see if uh, that violent tower, as you're saying, goes to the other side here. But I really like that draft. I think if this continues this way, we might see a 3-0. Uh, I look to see, I'm going to be very curious to see how Popo Panda pivots. Last game, there was no Okeanos, so are we going to see a Chiwu pre-ban from Chakamu's side. No, instead goes after the Hathor and uh, Popo Panda takes out the Ciara. Well, Trakamu knows how fast that Gany is now, so that's something to definitely keep in mind. Hathor getting banned out, CR getting banned out, Popo Panda with the first pick. Yeah, likely going to take a Gany. Gany synergizes very well with the Chiwu and Oki they like to lay behind. Instead, goes with the Chiwu off the bat. So if I'm Trakamu, I'm thinking maybe let's take the Sierra, the Savannah, maybe let's take the Okeanos here to take away Popo Panda's fast options. Or you can totally go turn two with some sort of a Vigor Molly. Instead, goes for the fast units. Great picks, neutral picks, Okeanos Gany. Yep, double reset. We know how impressive that can be. Well done, Trakamut. In response, Popo Panda has to protect himself somehow. Yeah, and we also know from the earlier matches, Chakamu's Okeanos is actually quite tanky. So even if Chakamu has to rely on some sort of a Vigor Molly later, he can likely survive whatever Popo Panda throws to him. So I like those two picks. Popo Panda has committed to a Chiwu, so he has to throw in some sort of damage now. Goes with the Savannah Fran. Yep, Savannah Fran, it's aggressive. Is it going to be enough? He's got two more units after this one. Trakamu looking to respond after seeing Savannah Fran. Yeah, so the Savannah with the Fran is quite dangerous, but if you remove the Savannah, the Chibu and the Fran together have a lot of disenergies. You have a lot of, you have a stripper and then you have an immunity buffer, but the Chiwu doesn't do anything on its own and the friend doesn't take advantage of the Chiwu. So those aren't great picks. And of course, Chakamu has that Gianna in his back pocket, takes a speed lead and a Gianna, great picks. Yep, definitely like the Gianna. I was waiting for when we were gonna finally see this unit. Vanessa being drafted by Chakamu. Popo Panda looking to respond. Is it possible ban on this Gianna or is he gonna bring something to deal with it? Yeah, and this looks like a tentative ban on either the Chiwu or the Savannah from Chakamu's side here. Popo Panda knows he needs a pivot to turn two because that's a lot of speed. That Chakamu's presenting. So some sort of a Josephine and one more healer support would be a great pick. Uh, instead goes for the Water Monkey, which tells me that Gianna has to be the ban here because there's too much immunity uh, that Popo Panda has on his side. Uh, Chakamu is likely going to take out that Chiwu wanting to go first, but he can think ahead and know that as Gianna's gone, maybe he'll leave the Chiwu in. Yeah, very curious to see here. He brings out a Diana. Even a Leo isn't too bad going to these two water units and a Savannah, but we're going to see a Diana coming from Trakamu. Interesting choice of the Diana. I actually would not have minded seeing a Molly pick here, uh, but I think a Diana is also perfectly fine. That tells me he's leaving both water units in, and that's exactly what happens. Yeah, well, Diana's getting banned out. Chiwu's getting banned out here. We do have the Gianna going through. So unless this Josephine does a lot here, you're going to see a Gianna open up, followed by a Gany Oki lockdown here. Yep, so. That's double reset. You can see 33 speed lead coming up for Trakamu. That 33 speed lead may be enough to stop uh, Popo Panda. Let's find out as we go into game two with Trakamu and Popo Panda. Oh. Yeah, and again, Popo Panda being on full will is a huge disadvantage. Uh, Chakamu does have Gany Oki lockdown, so this Josephine is going to need a proc. Gets a resist on that Savannah, though. Yeah, Savannah does get to keep her immunity here. Not getting stunned up. You can see that their uh, second scale getting the strip provoke and stun onto the Okeanos as well. It's a pretty massive resist from Popo Panda into landing onto the Okeanos there. A huge turn of events because now that uh, Savannah is going to be able to give speed buff and defense break. That's right. Seal of Magic coming out on Fran. Popo Panda's form of sustain. Looking for some defense breaks here. And it does land on everybody. Except the Vanessa, of course. I think Chakumu's, Chakumu needs to think about dismounting the Savannah right now because it's going to do a lot of damage over time with that speed buff. That's right. There's that defense break sitting on top of Savannah. Savannah going to be able to get out of this. I'm not too sure if it's going to be on violent or not. Massive damage coming towards this Gianna. Now he does have the passive of that Vanessa and he can reventilate with the Scanny. And there's a skill too coming out from the Water Monkey. So that's going to be a lot of damage. The defense broken units everywhere on Chakumu's side. Doesn't stun up the Ganymede though. You can see the bomb's going to be coming out. Could put it on the Savannah now because the reset did go on the Fran. I don't believe Fran has second skill up just yet. And Chakumu needs to vent the Vanessa with the Ganny so that he's going to be able to cycle with the Gianna to get the strips on. So Chakumu is actually in a decent spot here but needs to get the Savannah dismounted. Yep, there's the Ventilate back on Vanessa. We get that 
passive up. We have that defense break sitting on top. Vanessa is going to take advantage of it. Does not drop it off that Beast Rider just yet. We've got a third skill here with the Water Mutt King. Can go to eliminate the Gianna. It's going to get revived back up here. Gets the additional turn. Can drop the Okeanos. That's defense broken here and doesn't drop it just yet. But I think uh, Fran can finish off that job here. Yeah, that's exactly what Fran is probably going to do. Actually decides Ooh. he wants to attack break the Gianna. Interesting choice. Yeah, very interesting choice. Not enough to drop this Gianna just yet. Yeah, at the same time, Trocum not looking very good. Either of these units are going to die in one pop. That Josephine does have skills up. So Gany Oki lockdown is not going to work here because this Josephine is going to be able to turn around and kill that Okeanos. Yep, that's right. He could go for the Rain Stone. Does go for the Rain of Stones. Looking to stun up everybody. Doesn't even get the Wind Unit Savannah, but does knock it off the Beast. Yeah, so Chakamu's going to lose another unit here, and this is going to be pretty much game over. This game was decided the moment that Gianna missed that stun on the Savannah from the opening moves. Had that landed, uh, Popo Panda would be under control, but RNG Ooh, goes in favor. Oh. And there is the additional turn coming out of the Fran. Fran's able to sustain up here. Vanessa looking to pummel some damage in here. Does get the additional turn. It is not going to be enough here. Definitely not going to be enough, but Chakma knows this is a best of five and knows as a seasoned, now seasoned veteran to take his time and think through his picks and how he can play it, draft a little bit better next match. That's right. Seal of Magic coming out on probably the France. Stop the immunity, stop the sustain coming up here. Yeah, but it's a pretty tall order to ask a Vanessa to be able to take down two water units, <laughs> especially those two. So Chakamu taking his time. It is SWC. Winner goes to the finals here. So definitely important to think through every single move. Yep, definitely has that thinking cap on. You can see Chakamu definitely deep in thought, trying to figure out what he wants to be doing here. And round two is going to Popo Panda. Yeah, again, I think Chakamu actually had that on draft. He had the Gianna moving first, and then he had a Gany Oki lockdown. It came down to Savannah to feel that pain a lot. That's right, pre-bans from last time. You can see the Ciara getting pre-banned by Popo Panda. Trakamu with the Hathor pre-ban for last time. New pre-bans coming in here. Gianna once again is getting pre-banned, followed up by the Okeanos getting pre-banned by Trakamu. Trakamu does have the first pick. Yeah, and if you think back to the first match, Trakamu did very well on draft there, so I wouldn't be surprised to see, see the exact same run out happen from Trakamu's side. I would expect to see Popo Panda vary his draft a little bit. We'll see. Trakamu with that Hathor first pick. Of course, Pope is going to be splitting that Gany Hathor, bringing out a Chiwu as well. So in the first match, you saw a Ciara pick, and now you actually see a Chiwu pick here. So uh, Savannah's are live, and any, if he potentially has Chung Pungs and other AoE units, those are live. Chunko has to take the other speed, but he goes with the Ciara, and we likely will see some other fast unit and maybe take out the Savannah away from Pope Panda. Yeah, I really would like to see the Ciara coming out of Trakamu here. I'm curious if he's going to land. It looks like he's really trying to think about what he wants to do, possibly to Surprise, Popo Panda bringing in the Savannah and the Vega. I think a Vega is a very fair pick, but it incentivizes Popo Panda to, to, to take Sierra, which is a decent pick against all of Trakamu's units. Trakamu's Savannah does synergize with the Vigor, where the Vigor provides a speed buff and allows it to hit a lot harder. Uh, but at the same time, Trakamu has two units that give him speed buff. So uh, it could be a little redundant there. Sierra's definitely a pick, and then you see the Fran to give protection. Decides he doesn't want Fran, which would be interesting, but I expect some sort of heals. He's probably thinking some support, some heals, Choose or just straight aggression. Water Monkey King, interesting. I knew he was going to be picking up that Sierra. I don't know how you don't pick up Ciara when Trockman wasn't drafting any speed leads himself. So snagging that Ciara up, chooses to go with that Watermunk Kick, which is very interesting. Trockman looking to wrap up his draft here. Yeah, Popo Panda actually representing a very scary draft here. I think Chakamu needs to ban out that Chiwu and just let Popo Panda just resist resist a bit from Popo Panda or just kind of let things go beyond turn one. He's going to be content to give up turn one because Popo Panda is so highly invested in it. And there's the Fran coming up for Trakamu. A lot of sustain on Trakamu's side of the field, and the Diana getting locked in as well. Popo Panda with one fifth unit here. So Trakamu is going to ban out that Chiwu here. It absolutely has to be pre uh, banned out. We see the Ethna take. So what we're going to see is an opening from the Water Monkey and Ethna into a reset on the Gany. So a lot of control and aggression coming from Popo Panda's side. Not sure if Trakamu has enough in the back pocket to be able to survive that much aggression. That's a lot of damage coming from Popo Panda. And the newly buffed Ethna, very, very strong unit. Even for a unit having uh, Vigor on the field as well, Ethna's still very strong. Yeah, that Vigor might melt off the bat, but we do have Savannah and the Fran. So if that Savannah is not dismounted, it, it might be able to win the game outright. All right, we'll find out. Going into round three, Trakamu, Popo Panda. Let's see who's taking first turn. I believe first turn's definitely being taken by Popo Panda. And we see this Ethna being faster than the Ganymede. We knew that Ganymede was fast before. This Ethna is even quicker. Absolutely. When you're tuning a team this way, the Ethna and the Water Monkey have to move in front of the Gany, and that's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing two holes being opened up, and Gany's going to be able to reset both, presenting Popo Panda with a lot of control. 
Yep, here comes the reset onto the frame. Wants to stop that immunity attack buff coming up. And there it is. Drops the attack buff. Attack buff resisted on the Savannah as well. Diana possibly looking to shield up, maybe even a stun. I think Diana does need to shield up because otherwise uh, it might he might melt. But now he, he does do, decide to shield up and has Vigor to provide speed buff, which will allow him to come back into the game. That's right. Bomb does land onto the Savannah. He could be stunning this unit up. There's no will protecting it right now. Yeah, but the Ethna and that Water Monkey are going to go next, and they do a lot of damage with that defense break from Ethna and the Water Monkey. Bomb gets detonated. Stun does happen on the Savannah. No resistance there. Looking for a stun onto Ciara. Does receive that stun. Possible attack break going out onto Ciara. Maybe attack by reduction on the Ganymede. Yeah, that's a huge stun on that Ciara because its cooldowns do not recycle. But again, that Ethna and the Water Monkey King, it's going to come down to how many defense breaks land and how much damage happens. Ooh, everybody takes on a defense break here. Can Vigor get his? He's got that three-turn defense break. Possibly coming out onto the Ethna as the unit of choice here. Big second skill could stun everybody up because there is no will up yet. Yeah, there's definitely no will up yet, but at the same time, this Diana can move and take out this Ethna, so that's exactly what's going on in Popo Panda's mind right now. Yeah, crossing his fingers for stun. Does land the glancing onto this Diana, though. And the question is, do you go for it? He decides he does not want to go for it. Can go for it another time here. Wise, safe, conservative move. Can cleanse the Savannah and then go to work here. And there is the cleanse on the Savannah. Could capitalize on top of everybody here. Gets a defense break onto everybody. Vega with a skill one. Onto yeah. the Water Monkey King does get a heal block. And you're going to see Savannah move in front of every other unit on the team here. So Popo Panda is going to lose a unit, if not two, because Diana does a lot of damage and Savannah's going to take out another one. Yep, here we go. Diana looking to drop this Ethna. Finishes off that Ethna here because he's going to cycle back. Does it? Violent proc is going to be the question on everyone's mind right now. And it gets that additional turn. Not stunning up that Water Monkey King. And here we go. We're going to see more damage and another unit drop from Trakamu going right after that Ciara. And here we go. He's going to concede right there, Chirakamu taking round three with that devastating Diana Violent proc. And you see Chirakamu uh, using the cheeky, stay in human form, skill two on the water monkey, and actually salute Popo Panda's units did not do enough damage for the way he played, how aggressive he played, and ultimately that's why Chirakamu was able to come back. Once that Savannah came online, it was game over. Yep, that's right. Well, we've got game number four. Chirakamu can win it out if he does take this round. He's got Gianna in his uh, wheelhouse now. Definitely does have Gianna, which is huge. If you saw how game two went, if that same draft comes out, Chakamu wins 85% of the time here, resist being 15%. So we'll see if Popo Panda decides to change up his strategy. Yep, smart. Uh, CR is a very smart ban. You don't want to let that CR Gianna through. Popo Panda wants none of that. And the ban on Hathor does happen for Chakamu as well. Yeah, so Popo Panda took Chiwu first last time. I don't think he's going to take Chiwu first this time. Would be very surprised because Chakamu would respond with the Gani Oki, which again makes it very challenging for Popo Panda. Instead, he still goes with that Chiwu. I'd be surprised to see anything different. Yep, there's the double reset for Chakamu. Can he land it? Can he hold off? Can he take this round four? We'll find out. Very good drafts from Popo Panda. I like this Josephine, and I like the Savannah coming from him. So Popo Panda's decide to move the Josephine up one position in draft, which actually is quite a smart move here because he's able to basically, he's telling uh, Chokumu that he's going to let that Oki through, and he's going to be able to uh, counter that a little bit earlier as opposed to later. Uh, Chakmu not phased by this, goes with the Gianna, goes with the Chungpong. I would have actually liked to see a speed lead coming out of Chakmu because he can have a flex fifth pick on what he wants to supplement his team with. Because now without a speed lead, he's almost forced to take out this Chiwu. Oh, we'll see. I mean, he could draft Vanessa. I'm not too sure if Vanessa is really going to be helping Poke Panda. It does synergize really well with having that Savannah on the field. So curious if we might go with that, having another speed lead to lock in, because clearly a lot of control is coming from Chakmu's side of the field. Yeah. So Chakamu is banking on banning out that Chiwu a lot. Popo Panda is going for turn two now. Uh, so takes the Fire Monkey, which we saw earlier. Um, but at the same time, I think Chakamu has the edge here. He has first turn initiative and can take turn one if he wants. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of ban on Chiwu take of Barbara. I was going to say Barbara would be an excellent unit coming from uh, Chakamu. Or maybe some other pick, maybe even a speed lead of his own is fine, or some, I'm thinking either water or some other's uh, speed of his own, or water's fine here. So Vigor's great, allows him to play back a little bit. When he does this though, it's signaling a ban likely on the Savannah, uh, or likely on, it could even be the Josephine, and he could go off here, but. Yeah, Josephine Chiwu chooses to go for that Savannah, and Vigor's gonna be the unit to be banned out here. No more sustain for Trokmu. Keep that in mind, where Popo Panda does have that Fran, he does have that Josephine, that's shields, that's healing. Popo Panda does have a little bit safer of a draft. Can Trokmu control with this double reset? 
We're going to find out, guys, as we go into round four with Popo Panda and Trocamu. Popo Panda definitely taking first turn here. He's got that speed lead. He's got that Chiwu. Chiwu looking for a full strip attack, but pushback on Trokamu and doesn't land a full strip. Uh, the Okeanos is still going to be remaining with his immunity. And actually, that Gianna resisted that pushback. So Gianna's going to move in front. Huge proc because he's able to turn the attack bar of the Gianna down. So quite lucky by Popo Panda. Uh, and also, immunity attack buff makes it very hard for Oki Skill 2 to go through. Ooh, look at the reset onto the Josephine. Fire on water. Doesn't work as always. And here we go. <laughs> Defense break onto the Gianna. Gianna was provoked, forced to go right back to that Josephine. Gianna not looking good right now, not healthy. Full strip coming out of Chung Pung right there, and the reset going on the Josephine. So great reset on that Josephine, and actually now Popo Panda's gonna eat a Gany Oki lockdown and a Gianna and a Chung Pung going on it. I think this is looking highly in the favor of Trokamu here. He has that full control. Josephine is reset. There's nothing Popo Panda can do but watch as his opportunity to go to the finals and $2,000 goes away. Well, let's find out if that's gonna stand true. He's able to finish off that Josephine. Josephine's gonna be gone here. Chung Pung coming in with a second skill, gets the additional turn as well, capitalizing off that defense break, sitting on top of this Fran, and we're gonna see a skill one coming from Gianna onto the Fran looking so good for Trakamu. And Trakamu's clapping excitedly. He knows he's got a trip to the finals here. Popo Panda staring, knowing he's he's out. He knows it's over. Yep, there it is. Gets that additional turn. Finishing off that Fran there. Double bomb does land on top of the fire. Monkey King looking so good. Trakamu taking round four, going to the final. And Chakamu can't believe it. He's got his hand on his head. He's got his head on his desk. That was a lot of stress he went through, but <laughs> such a well-drafted. He's praying right now, saying all kinds of prayers, but congratulations.